Hello, and welcome to my WWE 2K23 match simulation of the Intercontinental Championship match coming up at SummerSlam later on today or tomorrow, depending on your time zone, between the challenger, this man, Drew McIntyre, taking on the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of this century, fast approaching the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion ever, Gunter. And Drew obviously returning back at Money in the Bank. And uh, immediately getting involved with Gunther after their uh, triple threat match also involving Sheamus at WrestleMania. Drew went AWOL for a bit. Lots of rumours about his future um, in WWE, whether he was going to be in WWE at all. But uh, Drew returning, seemingly answering all that speculation. And uh, getting himself into the Intercontinental title picture. Come on, let's go. Someone wants Drew to move to the ring quicker. I dare you to say that actually face-to-face -to, -face to him instead of shouting it out of a crowd. <laughs> so, yes. Drew McIntyre, of course, is a former Intercontinental Champion. It was actually the first title he won in WWE way back in the Chosen One days when he had no beard. No chest hair. And no WWE title reigns under that particular gimmick. <laughs> and he went away, re-established himself on the indies and, and in various promotions, including in Impact. And uh, then came back to NXT, a new man. And has, you know, gone from strength to strength ever since. But speaking of strength, strength in numbers to Imperium, here they all are. Why is Gunther not in the middle? <laughs> And why is Giovanni Vinci not in red? Like, what is Vinci doing? Standing in the wrong place, wearing the wrong gear. I mean, I guess Gunther stands off to the side because he is taking the lead. That is definitely him playing Gunther's role, but sure, surely he stands in the... Am I remembering that wrong? He stands in the middle, right? Anywho, here come Imperium. And uh, Gunther hasn't needed them a whole lot in his Intercontinental title reign. He's been quite dominant all by himself, to be perfectly honest. But Drew McIntyre is quite the different kettle of fish. Former two-time, question mark, WWE champion. As well as just pretty much every other title available in, in WWE at this point. Like, there's very few Drew hasn't won. And, uh... He'll be looking to regain the Intercontinental title for another reign. If uh, if things go his way in this match. Of course, Gunther disagrees that that is the ideal outcome. And again, lining up on the left. I guess this is how this entrance goes. Well then. Gunther's in the ring. Drew is definitely ready. Let's get him into this ring and let's get this show on the road, shall we? I think we might have to do the uh, the formal introductions for such a prestigious title match because the Intercontinental Championship has definitely regained a lot of its former glory under the uh, watchful eye of Gunther. Which, you know, he has stated is his goal to make the Intercontinental title, you know, prestigious by association with such a prestigious wrestler as himself. Here's the challenger, Drew. C. I don't remember him ever doing a C pose with his hand, but apparently that's what he's doing here. Maybe he's supposed to have the sword still. Anyway, there's the champ, at least until the end of this match. Showing off the championship that he has held for just so long at this point and in such an impressive reign with so many just amazing quality matches Sheamus in Wales at uh, Clash at the Castle for example the triple threat involving Drew McIntyre and Sheamus and countless others but now it's time to see if he can retain this one on one against Drew McIntyre Drew looks ready and focused Gunter always looks ready and focused so does Drew to be fair here we go Oh, he went for a big chop immediately and Drew said, no, thank you. Short arm shoulder tackle takes down Gunther. And now going after the hand. That's not his chopping hand, though. 
Oh, and then I thought he was going to carry on going after the, the hand, but no, then he kicks him in the side of the head. And then a stomp. That one is the chopping hand, and he just stomped right on it. Oh, look at the deadlift into the gut wrench powerbomb. I mean, amazing strength by Drew McIntyre. Gunther is no small man. Stomp in the small of the back. Drew is just attacking anything that's available to him. He's going after the back. He's going after the hands, the arms, the legs. He doesn't care. He's just going to hurt Gunther however he can. Knee to the midsection by Gunther. And then throws Drew to the outside. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that champion's advantage is a thing. Gunther doesn't have to beat Drew McIntyre. Drew has to beat Gunther. Uh-oh. If, if, For example, if Ludwig Kaiser were to just run in and smash Drew in the face there, Gunther would lose by disqualification, but he would keep the championship. So, yeah, something to bear in mind. But, of course, that would just lead to a rematch down the line and wouldn't fulfill Gunther's uh, primary objective of uh, proving he's the best and bringing prestige back to the Intercontinental Championship. So he throws Drew back into the ring. He wants to finish this one in the middle of the ring. Conclusively. Now Drew scoops him up. And then Gunther drops down behind takes the knee out. That's not to say that Gunther won't resort to some sort of strategy like that if desperate times occur. But we're not in desperate times at the moment. In fact, Gunther's looking pretty good in this one so far. Swinging neck breaker to Drew. And now Drew going to fight back. Irish whips Gunther into the corner. Runs in. Clothesline. Now going for the first pinfall attempt of the match, I believe. And it's just a one count. Can take more than that to put Gunther down. Oh, stiff right hand. Uh-oh. Sleeper hold. Oh, going to drop back into a rear naked choke. Can he just choke out Drew and win this match? In fairly short order. Drew's fading. Nope, Drew's decided. I'm going to fight out with this. Oh, and a headbutt. Very Scottish of you, Drew. With the back of the head, though, into the face of Gunther. Brutal. And, Gun and Drew's feeling it now. And now sends Gunther out to right where the rest of Imperium are. Showing him he's not scared of them. Look at that. Oh, my God. Right in front of Imperium. That was risky. One of them could have just moved Gunther out the way. But, uh... Oh, big move by Drew. But then I think he got a bit distracted by Imperium. Tra challenging them to fight him as well. And then Gunther just got up and drop kicked him out of nowhere. And now look at Gunther talking trash to the crowd. This is your hero, he says. Or something along those lines, of course. I don't know what he actually said. Now Gunther feeling confident on the apron there. Uh-oh, Drew's back up though. Uh-oh. Oh my god, he's going to go for the 10 beats. A movie learned from his friend Seamus. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And Gunther flops to the outside. And that's not a soft landing. Those mats are very thin on the outside. He just fell off the apron. That's a good three, maybe four foot drop onto basically a concrete floor with a tiny thin gym mat on top of it. But Gunther bounces back and does an impressive slam. Hooks the leg. And he's beat him. Wow. That kind of came from out of nowhere. Gunther's got so many ways he can beat you, man. Like, wow, where did that even come from? And Gunther retains without any real interference from Imperium. Nice and clean. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And subscribe if you're new here. And share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I'll see you next time.